Hi, Phil Cowan, morning host at AM 1380 The Answer, and I'm here with Tom Daves of EXP Realty. How are you doing? Great. How are you doing, Phil? I'm doing fine. Thanks very much. I know a lot of people, Tom, are very uncertain about the business environment in general, but how's real estate looking right now? Well, Phil, real estate right now is white hot. It's probably, it's actually the hottest real estate market, the best seller's market I've seen in my lifetime. So the market is super hot, uh, inventory is low, interest rates are low, um, a lot of people are taking advantage of that, and a lot of people are moving out of state. So things are going great right now. Is that why values have held so steady and in fact are, are really kind of surging right now is because of the inventory situation? Absolutely. It all goes down to supply and demand. Right now, um, our supply is about 50% of what it was a year ago. And our demand is double. So the simple axiom of supply and demand. So that's why values are holding. Values are going up consistently. No one knows, of course, how long they will go up. Um, as we know, real estate goes in a seven to a 10 year cycle. And I think what we're going to be crowning here, uh, especially after the election. So things are good right now, though, for sure. Where's the demand coming from? Is it coming from people moving here within the market or is it coming to, from people moving in here from outside the market? Outside the market. There's a lot of Bay Area buyers that are yeah. moving here. If you look at the, over the last 10 years, it's been a downsize and right size and simplify trend. But what's happened is... I'm sorry, say that again. It's a what? <laughs> downsize, right size, and simplify trend. That's what I thought you said. Yeah. and But <laughs> what has happened since the pandemic is people have decided that they want to move out, spread out a little bit. And they want, especially because people are working out of their home now, they want to move up to our area so they can take advantage of larger properties on larger parcels and um, plus the pricing, you know, take yeah. advantage of the pricing. It's a lot of Bay Area buyers, they're cash and uh, it's multiple offers as well. Oh, yeah, I know that's happened a lot. It, this is interesting, though, the way work has changed. The whole dynamic is different after this COVID scare. And a lot of people working from home. Do you find buyers looking for more home because they know they'll be working there? Absolutely. They want a home office. They want multi-generational. Um, they want larger homes with more square footage, maybe with an office. So people like that setup and um, it's very affordable as well. A lot of people, I'm sure that maybe they're thinking about real estate. Gee, it would be great to sell the house. Maybe it's time for us to transition to a bigger home. Might just be a family moving across town. I, I know people are concerned about opening their home to others. Is it something they should worry about? Yes, you need to take care and be sure you have uh, any, you know, safe precautions. If anyone is high risk, then uh, extra caution. Um, but we're able to take these safe precautions through, of course, we use uh, photos, videos, drone, and the 3D. So people can actually see their home without even being in their home. So that's the first thing. And then, of course, obviously, everyone is required to be pre-qualified, pre-approved before or have cash to verify before they can come in and see a home. Plus, we make sure, you know, people have masks and uh, sanitizers. So all safe precautions are utilized. You say you've been seeing a lot of multiple offers on listings that you have. How common is it becoming? It's becoming very common. 75% of the homes that are selling are selling with multiple offers. In fact, three quarters of the homes are getting multiple offers? That's right, three quarters. Wow. Yeah. It's just crazy. Multiple offers, bidding wars, uh, that's boosting up the prices even a little bit more. Um, in fact, uh, Deborah, in Carmichael, she heard you on the radio and she called me. Thank she, goodness someone does. <laughs> and she's moving to Coeur d'Alene, Idaho with her two young boys that are will be attending college there. Uh, we listed her home and we listed it for $1.2 million. We had five multiple offers from Bay Area buyers. We were able to 
uh, get Deborah 1.4 million. She got 200,000 over the list price to a cash Bay Area buyer. So does that answer your question? Yes, it does. <laughs> so if people want to get in touch with you, is your number still 855 Tom Daves? Absolutely. Or TomDaves.com. And a, a time that has been just a little bit dark, and I think people have been a little depressed about it, it's good to know that there is one segment of, of the business community that is still thriving. Well, great to see you, Phil. Thanks so much. You bet. Thank you.